To display images in your native applications, React Native comes with the built-in image component and in this lesson, we will look at its core features and some of the things to watch out for. So let's go. Now we have a few images already within our application in an assets folder. We have a logo and then we have a 2x version of that logo and then we have a 3x pixel density version of that logo as well as a file containing the Android robot. Now in order to display these images within our app, as we mentioned, we bring in the image component that is provided by React Native. Now this image component is going to need a source and one example source that we can use is the logo file that we just saw present within the assets folder. Now React Native does support bringing in local image files as ES imports. However, we are getting an error over here from the TypeScript compiler because this magical nature of React Native to support image imports has not been documented by the React Native type definitions. But we can document that magic for TypeScript quite easily. We create a file images.d.ts and within that we declare all of the different file types that are supported as image imports within a React Native project. And the file types that I'm declaring over here are the ones that are supported both across iOS as well as Android. Now with this type declaration created, you can see that the error has gone away within our app.tsx file. Now let's use that image component that is provided by React Native and point its source property to this logo that we just imported. And as you can see, it works perfectly fine. And another nice thing that I want to point out over here is that if you look at logo.png, it is actually pretty bland. And what we are actually seeing on screen is logo at 3x ratio. With this file naming convention of at pixel ratio x, React Native will automatically pick the right version of the asset that is bundled for the device that is currently executing the code. Now this is an iPhone 13 that has a 3x pixel ratio and that is why React Native is showing the 3x version even though we only imported logo.png. Now if there aren't other versions of that file, for example we only have one version of android.png, that is the one that gets imported and that is the one that is being displayed perfectly fine. Now in addition to bundled assets, you can use the image component to load remote images from a server as well. For example, within GitHub, I've created this project and uploaded the images that we have seen. And of course, it contains this Android file as well. And a great thing about putting images on GitHub is that you can actually get the raw URL for that and use GitHub as your CDN. Now with this URL copied, we jump back to our code. And instead of using the logo that is locally imported, we can actually provide an object to the source prop for the image component. And within this object have a URL property which we point to the URL that we just copied. Now with this URL pasted, the app has refreshed, but notice that we do not see that Android image. This is because for network and data images, we need to manually specify the dimensions of our image. And if you think that's a bad thing, this is not, this is actually a good thing because we hold mobile developers to a stronger standard and we don't want reflows happening in a mobile app like you might be used to within a browser app. So we specify the width and the height and the image is always laid out. And once that URI is fetched, it shows up on screen. Now a concern over here, of course, is that you might not know the width and the height of the image that you are trying to fetch. And for those cases, it's perfectly fine for you to decide how much space you want the image to take. For example, if I specify a width and a height of 350, the downloaded image will be scaled to cover the full width and height of 350. Now the key word that I used in that sentence is cover and that is actually the default value for the resize mode property. Now of course sometimes you don't want the image to resize beyond the dimensions that you are providing and instead be contained within the dimensions and the value contained for resize mode does exactly that. To visualize how much space the image is taking right now, let's put a border around it and as you can see it is taking the width and the height that we provided it's just that the image is scaled to be contained within those dimensions while still preserving the aspect ratio now very similar to having a uri that actually points to a url on the internet you can actually use a data dash uri as well here i've pasted in a data uri which is actually a base64 encoding of a png image and the image does show up which means that it is supported by react native but one thing that i want to point out over here is that when you use a data dash URI, you are supposed to provide the width and the height just like you are using a URI that is pointing to a place on the internet. Thank you for joining me. Smash that like and subscribe and share this lesson to support more content like this and I will see you in the next one.